Hello everyone and welcome back to Injustice 2. <laughs> hey Vid, how you doing? I think this is the first time I've actually said hi to you instead of Mira. Damn you were quick. <laughs> Alright, let me make sure everything's up and stable. Yep, get lost. Alright. There we go. Jokes on you, I already have Raiden. Give everyone a moment to get in here. Uh, I have nothing better to do but watch back through like five streams. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's go story. Let's sneeze. Also, I didn't realize you guys could hear the clicking of me muting and unmuting. Uh. So. Hey, Mira, there you are. How are we doing today? Uh. A little you were bit easy. back, weren't you? I told you. I'm trying to make things right. I betrayed my core, my planet. Hold that thought, Hal. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit tired. Um, other than that, you know, excited. More Injustice 2. Glad to have you guys here. Don't want to spoil anything on stream, so we'll just keep that discussion in the Discord. And my friends. Okay, That's we already... Part. All day I've been reminded how I failed to be a hero. How hard it's going to be to regain people's trust. We already uh, saw this. Oh, whoa, hold up. Uh, whose what? kingdom this is? Oh, damn. Okay. I didn't think it meant to skip that far. Hold up. All right. Shit. I guess we are sitting through all that. <laughs> damn it. All right. You were holding back, weren't you? Never mind. I told you. I'm trying to make things right. I betrayed my core, my planet, and my friends. And that's the worst part. All day I've been reminded how I failed to be a hero. How hard it's going to be to regain people's trust. I guess we're both on that path. We have a long way to go, Barry. It'd be a lot easier if we were together. We need help, don't we? Not his. You gave me a second chance. Because you got your head straight and helped take down Clark. If he was still in charge, he'd still be wearing yellow. I'm not that guy anymore. Look, I get why you don't trust me. But you should trust the Guardians. This ring means something. They put me through hell to get it back. Fine. I've got my orders. Just thought it'd help if we cooperate. Lantern. Maybe it's time I widened my circle of trust. What can I do? You're going to Atlantis. Our circle of trust needs Aquaman and his marines. You think he'll help? He's been off radar since the regime fell. Um, he didn't like getting roped into the regime by Superman. He sure won't be happy to see me. Get used to that. Batman wants my marines to fight his battle? Like the time Superman ordered me to invade Metropolis? We were all on the wrong side of that war. The next time my people's blood is spilled, it will be for Atlantis, not the surface world. You're one of us too, Arthur. Your father... My father was human, but my duty is to Atlantis. I don't trust you, Jordan. You are any surface dweller. Now leave and remind Batman, stay out of my seas. And when that's on your doorstep, Atlantis will defend itself. Maybe sooner than you think. We need to help each other. Go! I don't need your distraction. I'm not leaving! 
Need I remind you whose kingdom this is? Okay then. <laughs> also, hold on. I'm curious as to something. Hold on. Hold on. I'm curious about someone. Yeah, I know what happened in general. Hold on, what happened? Hold on. Not asking about th Hmm. Oh, okay. Nothing happened then. I was trying to figure out if something happened with um, Ocean Master in this universe, because like, there's a few things that they retconned from the comics of Injustice to the game. Like, Scarecrow in the comics was apparently killed by Joker. So... <laughs> how Scarecrow's back here, I don't know. You know, the whole, like, Nightwing's dead, those sort of changes. I was wondering if any of those had happened to... Uh, Ocean Master, but no, nope, apparently not. Apparently it was like Outcast or something, but that's basically what happens every time Arthur takes the throne, so not surprised there. I just realized I'm fighting as Green Lantern. Fuck! Okay, let's go. I suck with you. I don't like you. I feel like that's obvious. Oh, I don't like you either. Stop stabbing me. I hate flying characters. They're such a pain in the ass. Yeah. What was that? He was right in front of you, dude. You did not need to throw it all that way. I just, I'm, ah! I'm resorting to petty tactics. Like spamming. Just punching him instead of combos. I can't figure them out. Besides the usual. I learned one heavy move, and that is what I am abusing this entire time. I suck as Green Lantern. I hate him. For the pride of Atlantis. Never heard that one before. Damn it! Yeah. Ah. Ah. I've sucked this guy for an entire chapter. Help! Listen to reason, Arthur. I'm sorry. I... I didn't come here to fight you. This is exactly what happened up there. First they take out communications, then... They invade. But it's also my sector. Let me help you. Cover me. I thought oh, yeah. the only regime down here to torture would be Aquaman. Cheetah. Let's not beat around the bush. I 
have to fight against Cheetah as Green Lantern? I have trouble fighting against Cheetah, period! Um, also Mir said, ah yes, the character that's a bitch to fight as and the character that's a bitch to fight against, yep. Also, hello potatoes, one 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 one. <laughs> Sorry, I love reading your usernames like that. Just string of numbers. Hi, welcome. Uh, Green Lantern nerfs himself every day, I swear. I wouldn't know, I'm not a Green Lantern fan. Uh, the wall wasn't even in the hallway, why not just, I don't know, walk around it? Just gonna lurk. All right, appreciate it, vid. Yeah, hello, potatoes. Welcome. This Wonder Woman's in hiding. Maybe down here. Tell me, where's your Amazon friend? Didn't you hear? I unfriended her. So did Atlantis. Liar! I don't need a golden lasso to make you tell the truth. I like the body language they gave her. That's really cool. Like her tail and stuff. Yeah. I am just relying on the same combos over and over. Unfortunately, you are not seeing me at my best. <laughs> that would have been earlier when I was playing the Flash. You gotta want it more. Well, last episode, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot how far you throw that. Ow! 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 Oh, damn it, I missed. I'm fire you in the midst. Ow! You know what? I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna. <laughs> you know. Not. Deal with that any more than I need to. Bad kitty. I was gonna say that! <laughs> I'm not even joking, I was actually gonna say that. My people are getting flanked. Hold this line. Be our rear guard. On it. And you? I'm the vanguard. Jordan, you have returned. Good to be back where I belong. Kind of like you in a prison cell. Even as Yellow Lantern, you never showed me the proper respect. But I will show you how easily your will is broken. That was watching chat. Shoot. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god. Um, well, like, he has the power ring, which is only limited by imagination, really. You'd think he could come up with better weapons than just a mech for his super. Like, he could easily just think of another fighter. Someone whose power is counter Cheetah. I don't know why he doesn't just create clones to fight for him. Huh. I can't really speak on that. Like I said, I'm not- I don't really know much at all about Green Lantern. Um, I- I don't know enough to dispute that. So, maybe you're right. If there's any other Green Lantern fans in the YouTube comments or watching currently, uh, maybe you can talk to Potatoes about that. But currently, I, I don't know enough about Green Lantern to, dis to dispute that. The best theory that I can currently come up with, just without again, without knowing anything, is maybe it would be a form of like abuse of power. But that doesn't really sound right for a Green Lantern either. So, I don't know. Also, I did not know about the uh, the power rings. That's cool. Is it just the Green Lanterns that is like conjuring things through imagination? Or is that just how all the the rings work? Uh oh. Also, I don't know. Maybe you thought a mech was cool. You know, like if you could conjure up anything, probably wouldn't be the smartest. Probably just what you be what you think is the coolest thing. Like if someone says conjure up a fantasy creature and go, oh, let's think of a unicorn, you know. It's all the lanterns? Ooh. Ah. 
I hate you even more than I hate Cheetah. Nope. Wait, are you telling me that when Scarecrow had a yellow lantern ring, the first thing that dude imagined was a bunch of crows? <laughs> God damn it, nothing. I hate fighting you. At least make this challenging. Green Lantern, shut your mouth! <laughs> Quiet! It's challenging enough to make you. See, that's what happens when you be cocky. That is exactly what happens. Ow! We might actually lose here. Why did you have invincibility frames for that? Yay. I hate fighting you, Green Lantern. I hate fighting bait. Ah, what? What? How can you stand up? And oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Stop blocking. It's annoying, and it's not helping me win. Oh god. Stay over. Ooh. Okay, never mind. I like flying characters now. <laughs> Green Lantern can't lose. No, he's gonna get all- Oh, no, he's not! Oh, thank god. I thought he was just about to get all his health back. <laughs> okay, this. we don't have to do that again. We're done. <laughs> Valid, honestly. We're locking down the gates, but the fight's not over. Oh. Sorry, I was somewhere else. Where's this leave us? You put yourself at risk for Atlantis. Maybe you can be trusted. So, you're in? I can't. I belong here, defending my people. Oh no, it's atrocitous. No, he's the worst to fight against. No! Only pros this guy's he has Dexstar. Red lanterns? Atrocitus and Dexstar. Agents of vengeance. Powered by rage. Don't Danger worry. Kitty. <laughs> I'll handle these two. Ring to ring. I want a pedal. Good luck. Look at him, he's only You've been messing sensor. with my head, haven't you, Atrocitus? Sinestro's yellow lantern slaughtered millions. And their victims demand vengeance. They have cast off their ring, but you are not absolved. You're not the first person to tell me that. Dexter would tear your heart out and lap your blood. But I sense you have a higher calling. A spark glowing within you. A spark of rage! for what I've done, but my will is stronger than my hate. Damn, okay, he really is that guy. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. That feels annoyingly character realistic for John? Yeah, it does, regarding the crows. 
Uh, I want to own the cat, but I feel like I would get brutally murdered if I tried to steal him. I know! <laughs> just the, 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 the immediate, just kitty! <laughs> Dexter's story, I do know this one. Um, Dexter's story is actually, like, so sad. Like, just, your poor kitty. Yeah, no, he would absolutely claw you to bits. <sighs> Unfortunate. Ow, 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 Yep, that's why you're the worst. Nope. Nope. Did I get through these in one day again? Ah! Stop spinning on me. It's rude. Gross. I don't even want to think about where that spin. Uh-oh, kitty. Danger, kitty. Ah! I'm hoping this works. Other than that, I have nothing. No, no, no. He might lose in Green Lantern section because he is a pain to fight us. No. Help. Or not. Or, you know, or not. That is your face. I want to give the kitty scritches. I know. I'm sure he'd accept scritches. I just don't think he'd appreciate being stolen from Trostus. What did you do to earn the kitty? I want to know. What? I hate that. How are they able to immediately stand up and block at the same time? Pick one. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, kitty. Let your rage oh, I have nothing to wager. What would be the fun in that? I wonder if Dexstar has a red power ring on his collar. <laughs> Cute, but for some reason my brain went to he swallowed it. <laughs> I don't know why my brain went there. Like, oh, it could be on his collar, you know, that'd be cute. Nope, he swallowed it. <laughs> I thought it was on his tail. Hold on, where is Dexstar's power ring? Hold on. Where is... Hold on. Next stars. Power ring. Hold on. Where does he have the power ring, actually? Where does he have it? I know he has a red lantern ring. Where does he wear it? Hold on. He does have it on his tail! <laughs> it is on his tail! That's so cute! Yeah, Dexstar's power ring is on his tail. Oh, I don't know why my dumbass went to the cat swallowed it. <laughs> I guess because I had a black cat that would just eat anything he left around on the floor. Which was her undoing, unfortunately, but still. Um, I just saw black cat and then I heard ring and I went and he swallowed it. <laughs> so you can still control it if it was internal, right? Oh, you gain your health back! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! Why? No! You don't deserve the kitty! I keep timing that wrong. I keep timing that wrong. Oh, we're gonna lose here. We're 100% gonna lose here. No, no, no! Yes! Yay! Your world is burning. And when it is ashes, you will beg for vengeance. Sorry. I wanted to read something in the chat before it ended, but it wouldn't let me pause. Um, apparently Dexstar can talk in the comics. Oh! Wait, like, hold on. I'm wondering if it's like telepathically or like legitimately this cat is just talking like the cat out of Coraline. Is it like to other animals? Is it like telepathically or is this cat just straight up talking? Hold on. I'm gonna... We're just doing a lot of like <laughs> character. 
research now. Um. Oh, it says he can't speak except in the sense of how cats normally communicate with people. Hold on. Okay, um... Okay, so apparently Dexstar himself can't talk, from what I'm reading. Um, oh, okay, so... Short-term short answer, uh, Dexstar's ring can translate every known language in the universe. This allows Dexstar to understand everybody he comes across. And then even further, uh, although he would typically just make cat noises, he initially seemed to be able to speak through his ring. A red text box would appear. Okay. So, yeah, Dexstar himself can't speak. Uh, but he can understand what you're saying. Regardless. Which is neat. Which means we get to tell the kitty we love him. <gasps> and he understands us. That means a deal can be struck for scritches. <laughs> We can negotiate. Yeah, apparently in the early days, Dex Stark had a speech bubble of some sort to communicate. And it was like talking through his ring, but doesn't seem to have uh, have stayed, unfortunately. Bye, kitty. Oh, yeah, it is on his tail. You can see it. It's so cute. About that one. Oh, it's you. The beta phase is complete. Earth's defense is irreversibly compromised. Begin the countdown. Hell yeah, I can give the murder kitty scritches. It's not guaranteed you can negotiate with the murder kitty for scritches. <laughs> you probably need to, like, bribe him or something. Strike a bargain. Gave zero, like zero care at all that Atrocitus himself was there. It was just, oh no, you suck to fight. There was no discussion on Atrocitus's lore or anything. It was just Deck Star. <laughs> all of us just immediately went giddy. <laughs> Love that. Larger ships are being positioned over these major cities. Even with Aquaman's marines, we're still badly outnumbered. What's the plan? I mean, you have one, right? We have to evacuate the occupied cities before taking on Brainiac. But we need firepower. I'm sorry. I had to I had to pause the story and come out of mute because <laughs> something that Mira said. Mira said, because Dexstar is infinitely better than that overly tall asshole. <laughs> just breezes right past the trust and it's just kitty! Murder kitty, but still kitty! <laughs> Any heavy hitters on the Luthor Wayne payroll? Only Blue Beetle and Firestorm, but they're busy. Too busy for this? They're the last line of defense if Brainiac moves on Superman. Well, if Brainiac doesn't try busting him out of prison, Black Adam and Wonder Woman will. The worse things get, the more people will think we should let him out to hell. I'm just saying. Hope the new kids can hold down the most wanted man in the galaxy. Beetle and Firestorm are free. But together, they're the most powerful team we have. Hi, Mae! Speaking of, what the hell was up with the Blue Beetle movie? They came out with it. And I have heard nothing about it. Worst part is, when I was in theaters, I can't remember what movie I was seeing, but I think it was like Dune Part 1 or something. Um, 
But when I was in theaters, the trailer was there and everything, and I was so excited for it. I briefly forgot about it because, again, no one had been talking about it. And I didn't hear anything spike up again with its release. That's what I was expecting. I was waiting. I was like, okay, when it releases, everyone's going to, you know, mention it and then all that sort of stuff. I was just kind of waiting, you know? I didn't really remember the full release date. I was just expecting that people would be, you know, talking about it. I haven't heard a damn thing. I haven't seen it yet. I have full every intent to watch it because I freaking love Blue Beetle. But what, what happened? Was it good? Was it bad? Like, why has no one been talking about it? Blue Beetle's awesome. And it looked good and in character, too. Like, what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> um, yeah. Hell yeah. Blue Beetle. Also, you just said you needed firepower. Said you had Firestorm. And you didn't go, yeah, that's good. <laughs> D really? Bruce. Losing your touch, man. For real, Jaime. Batman does not think we're important. Aliens are invading, and we're on guard duty, guarding Superman and his cronies, who already have guards. We're guarding guards. We're redundant. Jason, you need to step back. Take in the bigger picture. I'd rather be in here than out there. This suit's an alien war machine. And your guys' Firestorm Matrix? We could take on Brainiac, and boom, accidentally blow up the world. Jaime's right. We haven't mastered these powers yet. Oh, listen to yourselves, you two! We're badasses! And badasses belong on the front lines. This is the front line. Brainiac running amok is a crisis. Brainiac and Superman both? That's an apocalypse. So we're the only thing between a crisis and an apocalypse? Hmm. I can get behind that. Hey, maybe you two should, you know, merge. Just a, you know, precaution. Brainiac. Merging and unmerging Superman sounds Either easier way, than. Just refuse. Thank you. Voice of reason. Also, haha, Damien's a jail sucker. Game on. Was that supposed to be a human torch reference? Is 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 that what you guys were going for? Without directly being able to say it. For those of you that don't know who the human torch is, uh his I guess trigger for his powers? That's that even sounds weird. Um the way that he activates his powers is by going flame on. And then he does a thing. <laughs> I don't know if that was just genuinely them trying to, you know, give him a lot. I don't know if that was just supposed to be a, a line in general or if it was supposed to be a reference. It feels a little bit like a reference to me, though. Okay. Um, ah, yes. The pride of an overly confident teenager who has more power than he knows what to do with. Oh, yeah. Yep. There's a reason that I like Blue Beetle better. Not that I hate- I don't hate or, or dislike Firestorm. Just not my favorite. I just take Blue Beetle over him. That being said, remember that thing that I mentioned last episode about usually I'd let you guys pick if I'm good with both characters? I'm not good with both characters. We will be going exclusively with Jaime. We are sticking a Blue Beetle. Kind of like the Scarab Stick film. <clears throat> Anyways. I'm sorry, you guys are vouching to release Superman? After everything he did! Um, oh, well that's sad. Apparently the whole reason why Atrocitus has Dexstar is because Atrocitus lost his daughter. Dexstar is an emotional support animal! Oh, how did that become ten times cuter? Well, <laughs> what emotion is he supporting? I guess anger. Not much. 
I can't tell if Dexstar is doing a good job or a bad job at being an emotional support animal. Like, on the one hand, you're not really helping him be very calm and, you know, laid back and stopping the anxiety and the feelings. On the other hand, you're both Red Lanterns and your anger is fucking, you're definitely supporting the anger, so... I don't know what our goal here is as an emotional support animal. Are we trying to not be angry or are we trying to be more angry? I feel like it's probably more angry. <laughs> If and that they're red lanterns. Um, I feel bad for Atrocitus. Yeah, it's... Uh, ha oh! Have you read Dexstars? Dexstars is so sad. Uh, well, the thing is, I'm pretty sure the red ring causes rage. Oh! So, Hal Jordan has obviously, a life outside of being Green Lantern, and, you know, takes off the ring and everything. This makes me wonder, like, do any of the other Lanterns ever take off their ring? And just live their normal life? Or... Because it seems like guys like Sinestro just don't take it off. I know for a goddamn fact, if Jonathan Crane still had his, he would also never be taking it off. I don't even think he takes that mask off. <laughs> Enough. Um, but it just kind of makes me wonder, is it just, like, Atrocitus and Dexstar ever just taking off their rings and, like, chilling out? Watching a movie and- Oh my god, I was right! <laughs> Atrocitus has a life, he just chills with Dexstar most of the time. Oh, I was right! They're just watching movies and Dexstar curled up on him. Oh, that's so cute! Okay, I hate Atrocitus a little bit less. That's adorable. Literally has an emotional support animal. That's amazing. And they're both red lanterns. Wait a minute. Hold on. What color? What what does purple stand for again? Hold on. What is it? What is their thing? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, no, I'm not asking for that. Their power, what is their... Okay, I was right. Yeah, purple is love, yeah. What, how cute would it be though for Atrocis to have a red lantern ring and for Dexstar to have a purple ring. I like to imagine Dexstar conjuring hands and like just playing Mortal Kombat with atrocities or something. <laughs> oh man, no, you don't realize. That just reminds you of my own cat Lynx. Whenever I'm at my mom's and I'm playing video games, I have like three separate photos of three separate instances where whenever I'm playing video games, he just comes and curls up on me, like right in between the space where I have my hands with my controller in it and like my lap. Or like he'll just straight up, as a kitten, he literally just would straight up like rest his head on my hand, that on my right hand that had my controller in it. Oh no, that's so cute. Okay, okay, okay. Sun cell secure. It must be the power center. The power center. If it goes down, those generators shut off. And he flies right out of here. You are fucking creepy when you're evil. Like, how is Bizarro less creepy than you? Oh, wait, no, 
they didn't Am know I they had dreaming? Kara. I'm sorry, you trying to tell me Batman didn't prepare for another Kryptonian? The man who thinks of everything? Know what happened here, movie. The other restarts the, the generators play. before Superman gets loose. For our feeble plan. Could could one of the pieces have just dropped on his head, maybe? I was so hoping for that. For those of you that are new here, uh both Mira and I have a deep hatred for Damian Wayne. Um, oh, and apparently Dexter had an owner before Atrocitus. That owner is dead now. Yeah, I know. It's so sad. Dexter's whole story is just, ugh. Just, no. It's more likely you will die. Mm -hmm, sure. Beetle! Guess we're on the front lines now. You're a naive boy with too much power. Much like the deceased Billy Batson. Oh, hell no! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh yeah, let's go! I meant forward, Jaime, but okay. Nope! Nope! Ah! Shit! Okay, maybe. Here we go, now you get to see me kick some ass. I was trying to move, but okay. Woo! I got punches and punch the door. <laughs> Ow! Forgot about that one. <laughs> oh, damn, I was going for that one. Oh! Child could best you. Then what's your problem? Damn it. Doesn't matter. Ah, shoot, there's this combo. Ah. Woo! Maybe I really am a badass. Go back, lock down Superman's cell. My old man's standards sure have dropped. Oh, it's you. Those are so you get that insignia and those colors off of you right now before I decapitate your brat ass. Desperate to impress Batman. Why? If your papa's that... weak. <laughs> oh! Oh, damn, I feel bad for you. Yeah, you do. You're a bitch. I'll teach this also ah! a lesson. Hope I never have a kid like you. I was the perfect oh! child. Batman just you're a bitch. Yeah, yeah, you're a bastard. No one likes you. Also, normally I wouldn't skip story. I hate this dude so much. I don't want to hear another goddamn word out of his mouth. Get guy <laughs> thing. Jump. Closer. I enjoy this. Yay. I was wondering when I'd get to fight you again, you little brat. I don't even care if you're getting hits. Yep. At least you got rid of that stupid sword, you dumbass ninja. Woo! I got punches and punch the lord. Nightwing! Nightwing! Ha! Ah, that's a funny joke. Tell another one in Justice too. Nightwing my ass. That's Nightwing. I'm Supergirl. Oh! Come on, challenge me. Gladly. Scare 
Sheriff says you suck. <laughs> I also said you suck. Over here, you little bastard. Oh. Bitch! You should respect your familia. Wonder Woman's outside, keeping what's left of the guards busy. If it wasn't her, who let you out? I did. Cyborg, you traitorous bitch. Another Kryptonian? You recognize me, Cal? My parents stored your image on my ship. You're my protector. Sorry I'm a few decades late. You and I left Krypton at the same time, but the explosion threw my ship off course. Way off course. You haven't aged a day. Hypersleep. While you were growing up, I was on ice. I never thought I'd see family again. Someone with my eyes, my own blood. You knew my parents. They loved you so much, Cal. Diana needs a hand. Cyborg, how long? Give me five more minutes, Good. then it's lights out. Sorry, I was falling asleep. Fun fact, because Damien was born out of wedlock, he's a bastard by every definition of the word. Oh, you don't need to tell me that fact for me to just know it. <laughs> that is very apparent. Oh, lack of bear. I want to leave you. I'll be here. She is not out of our league. What happened to your confidence? Kryptonians happened. Come on, Batman's counting on us. Please let me kick Cyborg's ass. Please let me kick Paula. Cyborg's ass. This people's cryptography is legit. Doesn't mean I won't break it. Victor, behind you! Let's see what happens to a super hearing. His ass firestorm What's your melting point, cyborg. Ah! <laughs> Save that boy. Reactivate that console before Superman powers up. Amateur hours over, rookies. Shut up, traitor. Beetle. I think I got this. No, I know we got this. Sweet arm cannon. I got one too. Quit playing, kid. You even know how to use that? Oh, how do we find out? Give me my training dummy. Dummy. Jackass. Cannot believe you. Oh, I think he's pitting. Should call me black and blue. Get up. Ah! 
Nice escape attempt. Game over, you bud. petty bitch. Can't crush this bug. Bitch! If you ever want tips, let me know. Brainiac's too much for Batman. I'm your only chance. Here's the thing, Superman. Batman asked us for help. He didn't draft us, make us sign a loyalty oath, or threaten us with jail. He won't go far enough. That's why he'll fail. Stay away from him! <sighs> Kryptonian, huh? The professor knows how to deal with you. Too. Oh! What did I tell you? We got game. Professor and I trapped Wonder Woman under ten feet of steel. That's not gonna work. You fought valiantly, <clears throat> but this battle's over. You want me to do what, uh, Professor? That, that's crazy. Maybe we can control it, but. You're right. No other option. Get out of here, Jaime! Jesus Christo, Jason! You're gonna nuke us? It's the only way. Now go! Leave, all of you, or you'll get a hell of a lot worse than a sunburn. You'd blow up Metropolis rather than let Superman go? Yeah. I'd save the Earth. Firestorm, stand down! Uh, you missed a message, unless you're gonna get to it later, but I'm telling you anyway, just in case. I missed one? What do you mean? Just a message, like a whisper? Nothing in the Discord.
in the chat. What, Amira reminding me about the uh, attack Roomba? Yeah, no, they were talking about Cyborg, a potential move that Cyborg can do. Let's put like a little explosive Roomba on the floor. I said, never mind, because I defeated him before he could do it. Post another message. Oh! Yeah, I didn't get that. Yeah, the last one I have about is from about um, Dexter and his owner. Before Atrocitus. I thought I read that one out loud. Yeah, send it again. Who are you? Superman's overprotective cousin. You so keep that right? so many secrets, but you can't stand it when one's kept from you, can you? Shut up, Damien. You can't beat Brainiac, Bruce. Shut up, Diana. You're right, Diana. I can't. Never mind. I reject the previous statement regarding Diana. Not the one regarding Damien, though. Kid needs his mouth sewn shut. What the? You're ready to stop Brainiac by any means necessary. By the means at hand. What's your game? You're always three moves ahead. Saving the world is enough for now. I'm never going back in that cell. Oh, yes, you are. We'll cross that bridge later. Right now, the world needs us. Staring contest or <laughs> hello? You, you did send it again. I'm not getting that one for some reason. My theory was right. My theory was right. I knew it. Sorry, I had a theory in the back of my head recently. My audio's been cutting out because I have to put myself in a in an Xbox uh party in order for the certain glitch regarding Twitch and its audio with the Xbox One um to negate it. And my party's randomly been dropping. It's been kicking me out of it and not giving me the notification that I'm out of it. I had a theory that every hour it decided to kick me out. We were at 59 minutes. I had I was going to check on the hour mark. It happened just a minute earlier than I thought. Okay. Uh I hate Injustice Damien with an effing passion. Yeah, me too. Um Is there anything going on with the filter maybe? Yeah, for some reason I'm not getting your other message, Potatoes. Posted it. Like, in chat, for sure, right? Yeah, it would have let me know if you had, like, a, a moderated or filtered word. Huh. If you want, you can send it to me in a whisper. Because I always want to hear what you guys have to say or any little facts you guys have. I don't know how you want to... Yeah, it's not showing up. Like I said, you can send it to me in a whisper. I have my whispers open. Try sending it to me in a whisper. There have been surprising developments. Kalel is free. But more remarkably, he is not the last Kryptonian. There is another refugee. Two Kryptonians. Continue as planned. Kalel is not yet at full strength. But remember, the Kryptonians belong to me. Uh, 
Okay, now I got it. All right. So Potato says, uh, Dexter was originally a woman's cat. Someday, uh, someday someone broke into her home and Dexter tried to stop him. But the intruder murdered the woman. Police kicked Dexter out of the house because he would contaminate evidence. When he found a place to sleep, two hoodlums found him, stuffed him in a sack, and threw him in a river. Atrocitus called out to Dexter and gave him a power ring. Dexter killed the hoodlums and returned to his dead owner's home, claiming that he would kill the murderer. Aww. It's, like, every time I read Dexter's, like, origin story, it's just, it's always sad. Like, what a good kitty! He's just trying to protect! Dexter is the best kitty. That's so sad, but also way to go, little guy. Hell yeah. All right. Thanks to Flash's recon, we have locations for every ship in Brainiac's fleet. They're targeting major cities on every continent. Uh, Damien's here. Give us some privacy. Listen, Batman, about the prison, we... That was reckless. Don't pull a stunt like that again. Make up for it by finishing another mission. Discreetly. We have to evacuate these cities before attacking the fleet. But we need communications restored first. So before we get started, Cyborg's going to fix Brother Eye. I am not Bat Tech support. You are now. Um, props to Atrocitus for saving Dexter, though. Atrocitus giving him the ring is the only reason he's alive. I feel like this is Atrocitus propaganda. <laughs> I feel... <laughs> I feel like I'm being like coerced to the dark side. Look, he's a cat person. He saved the kitty. <laughs> Sad backstory. <laughs> it's this it feels like atrocitous propaganda. <laughs> You'll be whatever bats damn well needs you to be, even if it is bat tech support. Hell yeah. Bro, he was gonna drown in a leather bag. I know. God, the fact that that actually like, legitimately happened. That's not just like some sad comic backstory that never happens in real life. That's more common than we think. Something neat regarding another uh, DC character. Um... It's Axel Walker, who is the second trickster. He actually used to have a penchant for hurting and torturing animals. Like, was showing signs of, like, the whole, like, psychopathy sort of thing. Um, and Leonard Snart, Captain Cold, like, went full... I want to say, like, almost, like, drill sergeant on his ass. And, like, corrected the shit out of his behavior. So, like, yeah, while he's still a very, like, hyper kind of, you know, back-talking brat, just a little bit, you know, in the playful sort of way. Like, he'll, pu he'll push a button and then when they go to snap, he'll back up, what? I didn't do anything, you know? In that sort of little shit way. Other than that, he's improved as a character greatly. And it's mostly thanks to Captain Cold correcting him. That is one thing that Captain Cold is really good and reliable for is keeping the rogues in line. He has his set of rules that he puts on the rogues, and if they don't follow them, he's gonna step in and make sure that they fucking follow them. Like, he's a good team leader. That's not the issue, Victor. Kara saw firsthand how Brainiac destroyed Krypton. 
She says we have less than 48 hours before he does the same to Earth. Without tight coordination, we'll lose valuable time. And that means we fix Brother I. Catwoman and Harley will join you. You'll need their help getting into the Batcave. Just give me the coordinates. I'll open a portal and boom tube in. You can't. I reverse engineered your oh, armors. Don't get so technology. snippy, little shit. Try Betrayer. teleporting into the Batcave. Instead of boom, you'll go splat. So, how do we get in? <laughs> the old Hi, Harley. There's a tunnel entrance under Arkham. I'm taking you two to Arkham Asylum. Stop your Perhaps bitching. It won't be awkward or nothing. Ah! I need a few hours in the solarium at the Fortress of Solitude. Assuming you haven't torn it down. Not yet. This Superman has Damien, no drip. Adam, no, he looks awful. With me. And the rest of us? Of course he is. We can't just sit here. We plan our attack. Once Brother Eyes online, we mobilize. Remember. Y'all agreed to team up for the better of the world and to stop Brainiac, and you guys are upset when you're putting forward a plan that doesn't include you? Shut up, Diana. God. Jesus, what happened to waiting on Condock, huh? You had no problem keeping Carl cooped up there. Because you needed time to plan your attack, the second that you need to plan another attack regarding Brainiac, one of the biggest threats you're bitching? Shut up! Out there, there's no regime. Not anymore. So we do not kill. Let's go. You're with me. Hey, I didn't hear anyone agree. Hey, I got no problem dragging her along. Why'd you keep it? This is awkward. Keep what? Keep what? Like, the only thing this guy can't see through is lead. Hmm. Forgot that was there. Sure. Sure you did. Yeah, you finally realizing what you screwed up? Sick little plan for your own fucked up Justice League. You're making your own sick little plan for your own fucked up Justice League. I see that look. You're creepy as hell. Yeah, that cowl is not doing him favors or whatever the hell you want to call that. That open faced cowl, I guess. Cyborg and Catwoman, but no! Damn it. Yeah, we'll go with Catwoman. It'll be better with her. This way. Wait, who the hell is they getting in our way now? Pheromones. Oh. Harley, you okay? Sweet, sweet Harley. This time you'll be a good girl for Mama. They need yeah, a well, girl talk. Sorry, Harley. I'll try not to leave a scar. Leave escapes like that for when she calls the hyenas or something. Ow! Uh oh. 
Oh, she's learning. She's learning. No. What? You little. Ivy sure did a number on you. Your girlfriend's a real man eater. Arkham gave us so many memories, Selena. Bewitching guards, late night poker, mandatory shock therapy. Oh, that's right. You were spared, thanks to your billionaire boy toy. I didn't ask for special treatment. The hell with this pity party. You're just dying to hurt me, aren't you, Tin Man? It won't bring back what you lost, especially below the waist. <laughs> low, low, Ivy. Literally. Poor Harley smelled the wrong roses, and now she's going into shock. Bye How bye. Did you do that to her? Keep her alive. This is personal. Harley How was did your you do friend, that to Harley? Pamela. She loved you. I have no more friends, Selena. All I have is the green. Especially now when you burn bridges like that. Holy shit. Now I'm just messing you up. You're right, Selena. It is personal. Bitch. Pulling you away from the trash and putting you in it where you belong. Super works. Harley just ducked under me. Oh wait, no, I'm too far. You're right. Nope, never mind. Close up. <laughs> We're good. Is the ass shot necessary? Much for the Gotham City sirens. Mm -hmm. The fuck you mean? Ugh. Did you do your job or not? You got a defibrillator in there? Yeah, but use it. But nothing. find Dinah and Ollie once we get to Brainiac? Seriously? They're already dead. Why you Shut gotta up, say Cyborg. that? Brainiac yeah. collects the best and discards the rest. Black Canary and Arrow, definitely not the best. Oh, up yours, man. I'd take them over you any day, Victor. Same, Selena! They ruined Cyborg, man. What a prick without having one. Guess I'm taking Ivy's route. Wait here, Harley. Make sure no one follows us. After you. Please.
Damn, lost your dicks, so you had to become one, I see. <laughs> Get him. It's too quiet. You no, know, it's all compensation. Bogies. And they're not bats. <laughs> what is this, aliens? <laughs> Why you do? I told Grog you were loyal to the bat. He called me paranoid. At least he listened when I said Batman would not relinquish his cave so easily. Soon, not just this place, but all of Gotham will be mine. Blah blah blah. Get. I've got business. Since I were the hundred foot pole. <laughs> Of all the ways to torment the bats, hurting you is one of my favorites. Yet you've never broken me. Ivy, then you go far with Bane. Make up your mind, Selena. I even put you further to compensate for the distance that you need to jump. <laughs> Bitch. Was that as fun for you as it was for me? Ready to meet Brother I? Bob. I don't mind fighting Deadshot. Bane is a freaking nightmare, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bane is your main potatoes? You must be a pain in the ass to fight, then. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I was too focused on the fight. I didn't even see the notifications. Thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Glad you've enjoyed enough to stick around. Yeah, I do not want to face you. <laughs> I think you can tell that uh, fighting Bane is not my strong suit. Honestly, I'm kind of like um, a jack of all trades. But yeah, that's not that's not one of mine. I'm like mostly Scarecrow and Reverse Flash. Um, sometimes like Blue Beetle, Green Arrow. I uh, picked up Raiden recently because Raiden's my favorite in the Mortal Kombat games. Um, who else do I have on my list? It's Reverse Flash, Scarecrow, Blue Beetle, Green Arrow, Raiden. Oh, I shut him off last stream. Damn it. Oh, well. Yeah, mainly those ones off the top of my head. Oh, yeah, and sometimes Black Canary and Harley Quinn. How did I forget Captain Cold? Okay, to be fair, I'm still learning Captain Cold, so not quite one of my mains just yet. We're still in the learning stages. I'm working on Captain Cold. Uh, he is pretty hard to get good at, but I mastered him after a span of like four weeks. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, I do not learn that fast. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not dedicating the full amount of time to it either. I'm kind of like on and off with this game, but I'd say I'm okay with Captain Cold. I'm not win streaks one after the other it's good with captain gold but you know we're working on it damn time system's still running brother i needs a clean power source something brainiac can't touch the cave's got backup generators now i'm a force to be reckoned with oh i bet <laughs> bane is not easy for me personally to counter 
So, like I said, I play, um, I don't know if it would be considered glass cannon. I guess it would be, yeah, because you hit hard, but you can't really take a hit. Um, Scarecrow is not, obviously, a glass cannon. He is a tank, but the slow movement, you really have to time things properly, or else you're just missing 90% of the time. Um, I technically play Flash, but I don't actually play Flash. I'm making that sound more uh, convoluted and complicated than I needed to. I play the Flash in like his slot, but I have the Reverse Flash skin on him. Because personally, I am a bigger fan of Reverse Flash than I am the Flash. Um, so yeah, I play Reverse Flash. And he is absolutely a glass cannon. Like, we can dish out hits big time, but then the second we get hit, it's if you get a good enough combo, it's like half our health gone. Yeah, Mira and I are teaching, like, are, like, practicing with each other uh, how to learn, for me, Captain Cold, and for Mira, uh, Red Hood. So. That should do it. Victor Stone, the pinnacle of human evolution. Someone has a secret admirer. But your humanity inhibits your true potential. You must purge it. Interesting thought. Just one problem. I'm a team player, and humanity... That's my team. But you are capable of so much more. No! from my good looks and charm, too. What good looks and charm? Backup generators are down that tunnel. I'll handle Mr. Robot. No aspect of Victor Stone's knowledge is unknown to me, including the most efficient way to kill you, Selena Kyle. Nice to know Cyborg thinks of me that way. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, I have the rarest Bane gear in the game. Oh, shit. So, like, are you, like, a hardcore, like, big-time Injustice 2 player? Are you, like, one of those people that, like, when you go up against, it's, like, just impossible to win against? You have, like, every character mastered. Like, you memorize all your combos, know the, like, in-between frames. Because, like, I I don't know, you could probably tell, but I'm a very casual player. Uh, we are on the easiest difficulty. Just because I'm here for the story for stream. And I really just play, like, single player. I do that in every fighting game. Oh, shit. Oh, you're- Oh. Oh, I've always wanted the pleasure of meeting someone like you. Okay. Damn. So, are you a Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Or both? Because I, personally, I'm Mortal Kombat. Cyborg, you have maybe half the amount of charm as an average sophomore in high school. <laughs> All of them? Okay. Damn, alright. Yeah, I started on Mortal Kombat when I was like nine years old. We actually have the Mortal Kombat 9 playthrough on the YouTube channel. Um, and we got like Mortal Kombat X and then next is 11. We have the DC versus Mortal Kombat. All that sort of stuff. Uh, we already played the original Injustice that is also up on the YouTube channel. Um, and obviously we're going through this one. So... Your personal favorite is Mortal Kombat? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was that kid that just immediately picked Scorpion because <laughs> he looked cool. And now I just can't put him down. Um, for the more popular characters, personally, I gravitate towards Raiden. Big time. Love Raiden. Um, and then for like underrated favorites that aren't in every single game that kind of pop up every like 10 years... Um, Cabal. I am super fast with Cabal. Not saying I'm the best by any means. Like I said, I'm not one of those people that learns all the combos, has them all memorized, you know. Like, I don't, I don't do competitive. I do casual. So, do not expect 
<laughs> through any of these fighting games for me to be the best ever. I like playing on the easiest mode, following through the story. That's it. And then if I play, it's either with like friends in like a friendly sort of round sort of way, or I just play on my own fighting a CPU. So yeah. Um, I, oh, it sucks that I'm not on my main account because my scarecrow and like my other mains and, and all my other characters and stuff are on the, on the main, on my main account and they look so cool. They're like a high, higher level. I think I have my reverse flash and scarecrow at like level 19 right now. Yeah. I got a lot of cool gear for them and everything, but this one doesn't have much at all. Like this is just the gaming account. Havoc. Oh shit. That's quite the pick. Damn. Okay. Were you like the OG Mortal Kombat wherein Havoc was like first introduced or are you like newer to the series? Uh, I like Kenshi, not good like at all. <laughs> but he's definitely what I play a lot. Mira, did you just diss Kenshi? <laughs> really? <laughs> I played all the games. Oh, shit. Okay. So I must look like an absolute noob to you. <laughs> you know, once I started getting into these fighting games, I knew someone like you was going to show up eventually. I did not expect you to like it, like this as much enough to stick around, but I really appreciate it. Uh, no, I just my own ability to play as Kenshi. Yeah, mine are like... Um... I basically played every single fighting game. Holy. Are there any you'd recommend for me? Because, like I said, we have the Mortal Kombat lineup going. And Mortal Kombat versus uh, DC. We have 11 lined up and Mortal Kombat um, and X. Sorry, I went the wrong way there. X and then 11. Uh, and then we're done here for Injustice 2. Like the Injustice games. Because there's only two of them. Uh, I've been thinking of getting Marvel versus Capcom. Because we're a big Wesker fan around here. But I don't know if it's actually Tekken. I've heard about that one. Is it like insanely difficult or is it good for casual play? I'm gonna fight while I talk. <laughs> so we're not like, you know, I'm enjoying the conversation. Anyway. We can keep it up, but story as well. Jerk. Your flesh tires. I can't be tamed. Cat. Thanks for kicking my other ass. Power's officially on backup. Okay, hold on. Um, Tekken is one that I played before, although it's been years. I'd like to tell you if it's good for casual play, but I was like six last I played. Needless to say, I sucked, but I thought it was fun. Okay. Uh, I couldn't really tell when I played it. It was too easy for me, even on the hardest difficulty. Oh, that's not intimidating at all. Um, <laughs> but I couldn't really give an opinion on if it's for casual players. Okay. I'll check it out, though. I'll, I'll see where I can get it and potentially put it on the list. Um, we currently are using this to take a break from Fallout 4. Like, I do a lot of variety. So we've done like survival horror, fantasy RPG, like there's there's a lot on this channel. Um huge amount of variety. So I'm never one to put down a new game, no matter what the genre is. I love Fallout. Hell yeah, dude. Found the right channel then. <laughs> yeah, we're going through uh, Fallout 4. We're just using this as a break because our playthrough is lasting a while on Fallout 4. Like, we're like 25 episodes in and we're possibly halfway through the main story. 
So I know that was going to take a long while. It was getting a little bit repetitive. So I took a break from it and transferred over to this because I knew we'd be able to get through this quickly. It'd be a nice breather and we could take this one off the list. Um, one of the games I grew up with. Nice. Fallout and Doom, my favorite childhood games. Would you recommend, I, well, obviously there's a bias there, but genuinely, be real with me. Would you recommend Doom? Because I've heard a lot of good things about that series. And again, I am always looking for new game recommendations. We already have a list of like 50 some odd games that I already have to go through, but I'm never opposed to adding more. You know, I'm not planning this to be a short term channel. So we just recently reached 200 subscribers on YouTube and we are now officially one follower away from being affiliate on here. So it's pretty, it's going pretty damn well to me. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying doing this. I intend to keep this up as long as I can. No human, not even you, can gain control of my own network. Not trying to. Just teaching Brother I to ignore you. This minor success will not stop Sevio. Brother I is online. Welcome back. Thank you, Miss Kyle. You should definitely play it, but just so you know, it is pretty hard. One of the games I surprisingly struggled with. Hard on like even the easiest difficulty? <laughs> this is again for a guy like you that goes, uh, or sorry, a person like you, I shouldn't assume. Uh, for a person like you that goes for like the highest difficulty and things, uh, I'm the opposite. I like to take the path of least resistance. We are always on the easiest mode because I'm just here for the story. I like playing through uh, through story th story motivated games. We do have a few games that aren't story motivated, like you know the obvious shit like Minecraft. But there's a few there that are kind of like never ending games that don't have a full story. To be fair, it is called Doom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's I mean yeah. It, it's called Doom. Uh huh. Um, my main childhood game was one that most people don't realize exists. It was Disney Universe. We've already played my one of my childhood games on here, uh, Fable 2. Um, yeah, one of my childhood games that we've already played on here is Fable 2, and one that we're still getting to is the original Red Dead Redemption. So. And I feel like the Batman Arkham games goes without saying. Yes, even on easy, but I've only heard that from other people. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. I'll look into it. So, actually, let me write these down. Tekken and Doom. Okay. Uh, can you play one of my childhood games? That depends. Are you suggesting a new one, or are you talking about the previously mentioned... Like I said, we are still going through Fallout, so. I could definitely possibly add it on the list. A new one? Throw it at me. Defense system override. Authorization LK4D4. System administrator Selena Kyle. Retinal verification required. <laughs> I have no mouth and I must scream. I feel like I've heard of that one before. Hold on. I feel like I've heard of that one. It's on Steam. If it's short, I can add it earlier onto the list. Point and click. Huh. Okay. Oh, is it 50% off on Steam right now? Yeah, it is. Oh my god, dude, it's three bucks. Is it on console? Well, I guess because it's a point and click, it would only be here. I just have joint problems with my fingers, so if it's too tightly knit, I can't promise as long as episodes. 
Um, as we're doing for, like, Injustice 2. Does it have controller... Co well, I don't think it would. No. I don't imagine point and click would. That's... Yeah. Probably should have seen that one coming. Uh, the tortured hidden past of five humans delve into their darkest fears. Hmm. Is it short or is it a long story? Point click. Hmm. Challenging dilemmas, dealing with powerfully charged emotional issues. I'm always into like our one of our first games was the Evil Within and the Evil Within Two. Well, sorry, reverse it. The Evil Within Two, and then we went for the Evil Within. So I'm all good for psychological horror. Like I said, we played survival horror here. Um. Hmm. Doesn't say anything about a short story, so... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, Oh, based on Harlan Ellison's short story. Okay. Oh. Not sure, I haven't played in a long time. It's not psychological horror, no, but it's delving into, like, the mind and whatnot, so... Provocative, a psychological and adult-oriented themes. Hmm. When does the sale end? Hold on. To July 11th. Okay, I'll add it onto the wish list. Hold on, let me head over to my actual Steam page. Hold on. I'll put it on the wish list. I'll look more into it. Let me see this. Because, yeah, they have the summer sale going on right now. Oh, it went on sale yesterday. What timing? Okay, so we'll add it to the wish list. Because uh, I can absolutely afford a $3.24 game to check it out. It's called Science Horror, and it claims that if an apocalypse were to happen, this story would be the most likely. Ooh. I'll check out if it's like safe to stream, if there's even like a potentially like a sensor. Because, again, I do have to be careful of the, the channel and everything. But, yeah, okay, so I'll look way more into that. It's only three bucks. Um, yeah, I can add that to the list. Like I said, I don't know just how soon we're going to get into it. Because, like I said, we're still going through Fallout 4 as well. So, no promises it'll be extremely early, but I can definitely add it to the list. Uh, from what I can see, it's about six or so hours. Oh! There's very little info, so take that with a grain of salt. Okay. Huh. Okay, that's not too bad. That's... Shit, that's about the same amount of time that we're probably taking Standing for this. Down. Brother I, bring Geo's yeah, I'll add to the list. Online. I said, I'll still do my information... My little bit of research. Bruce, after stream. The comms are yours. Copy. Brother I. Broadcast on the old Justice League band. Broadcasting. I'll get the details I need and... We're back online, yep. everyone. We have one hour to evacuate civilians before we engage Brainiac and the fleet. Where should we start? Diana, we don't have much time. Batman's strategy is all wrong. Okay, but I am, speaking of stream, going to have to leave it here. We are on chapter 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, yeah, so about four-ish chapters. I think this was only three this time. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to call it here. So we're going to hit main menu. Let's head through Brother Eye real quick. At this point, we're just doing these every time we wrap up. Batman! Ooh! Those are actually really good. That depends on if my Batman's level 9, though. Go back. You have to go back to the cutscene again? Yeah, I know. What extras do we get? Yeah, you told me there was something new for my hero card last time, and you lied to me.
There's nothing here. Unless it's in the icon. Why do you usually go down here? It's been nice meeting you too. Nice to meet you too, potatoes. Appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Oh, I think we reached level 5 with Beetle. I think that's what it counted as. Batman. Belt sucks. Not level nine. Alright. I won't be up for the outro though, but anyways, goodbye. <laughs> Alright. Catch you next time, man. Thanks thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Have a good one. Alright. Speaking of the outro though. Thank you so much for joining me for Injustice 2. Um, I stream every week. No, sorry, went back to the old one. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The full VODs go up on YouTube at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a good one, and stay safe.